Folks at home, back out here on the lake first thing this morning, and we're going to be doing a little topwater frog fishing. So we were out here yesterday afternoon, and we kept having these blow-ups right at the boat when we were bringing our worm in. We came back up and got it. So we decided, and if they're going to be blowing it up right at the surface, we're just going to fish with what we should be fishing with, and that's a little frog. Got my buddy Corey here with me. We're about to get on them. Oh, there we go. That is a blow up at the boat. <laughs> he got off. You got a good look at him. Man, that'll wake you up right there. Woo! Oh, my goodness. What a blow up. That's incredible. He wanted to kill that frog. I can't even stop him. He's just running, doing what he wants to do. My goodness. He's going to be back there, brother. He's on the other side of the boat. All right, here we go. I finally turned him around. I hadn't even seen how big this fish is. But talking about some power. Oh, man, my heart's racing. Oh, there's another one. Corey, Corey, throw it up here. Throw it up here. Throw yours up here. Right, Pitch it right behind him. There's another one just as big as him. That was incredible. Yeah, keep it, keep pitching it right out there. Got him. Man, look at that. Five pounders for breakfast. That is just insane. But you might have taken the bait for best blow up of the year. I mean, look at him, he's solid muscle. Like all he's been doing his whole life is eating frogs. Whew. All right, that was fun. <laughs> what an awesome blow up folks sitting out here first thing this morning this will get you fired up god and what a slap dude that is amazing <laughs> that's definitely the biggest one of the day look at that my goodness that's awesome. <laughs> so I was sitting here on this camera. Should have a real good up close blow up of that guy. Dang dude, no better way to start. She's a beaut. The Incredi frog. And basically the reason we like it so much is because it's a heavier style of the ribbit. And a lot of times you'll have grass up there right off the edge of the banks and you can throw this and still run it over the grass. But what I like to do is hook it with a double take hook. And if you're fishing heavy grass, I'll take those hooks and embed them right there back into the plastic. If you're not fishing heavy grass, just leave them exposed just like that. And that little kicking ribbit action of those frog legs will 100% get them fired up. We got Mr. Moccasin right here playing dead. At least I'm pretty sure that's a moccasin. Oh, yeah. But we're going to leave him alone for now. All right, so Corey just cast his frog out and caught a snake. Oh, a snake. Who wants them? The snake came up and busted the Incredi frog. You never know what you're going to get fishing this frog. But it is a water moccasin, and we're pretty much just going to chop this one up to a lost frog. I don't know, Corey, you want to go in there and get and retrieve our frog there, buddy? Uh, no, Give him just good. a tug just to see what he does. He's pretty stout. He's fighting back. 
gosh. That's crazy. Look at that. He's got your frog there, buddy. Imagine how much venom he's already put into <laughs> that little toad. I'll tell you what. Grab the pliers and just cut it off right there at the hook. Mm -hmm. I'll cut it off way back here. You me save a little more line? <laughs> yeah, save a lot. Go all the way up there to his <laughs> face. All right, he's about to cut it. Let's see what the snake does. All right, snake, you win. It's all yours. And he's off with the toad. <laughs> I'm surprised he hadn't even let it go yet. He's like, no, nope. yeah, he's probably toad. gonna digest this thing. Yep, that's crazy. I think that is the first time I've ever frogged a snake. All right, so Corey is an official toad dangler. We just got these shirts back in stock at Bama Frogs, but if you catch a water moccasin on a frog, I will send you one of these shirts. <laughs> <laughs> for free <laughs> just kidding kids don't be out there trying to catch snakes oh, there he is <laughs> that's a good one too wow nice fish that is definitely the way I like waking up in the morning. Got a big blow up. I'll let him fight it out. He still ain't ready yet. Alright, come on in, old buddy. We're gonna flip you in. That's a good morning to you right there. Good frog for breakfast. Gotta love it. There he is. Cool. That was awesome. He came up and went airborne. <laughs> Man, that's another solid fish. That was pretty cool. Did you get to see that? They don't want these frogs buzzing across the surface. Nah, I better not flip them. You grab them for me, Corey? <laughs> Nice. Look at that. It's a beauty. Got him. All right, so Corey just spotted the frog there. I'm going to zoom in on him here in just a second with my other camera. Let's let him go. And let's show you guys. So this little guy right here is the reason we're going to have to call this Frog Island. So there's a little island out here in the middle of the lake. And I buzzed that toad right through here. But there's little green froggies all over it. Or you want to use that one as a live bait? Sure, let's grab him. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to keep fishing top water or not. We're, yeah. We'll spend a little bit, right, just a few it. more minutes in here. It's That's a good spot right there. All right, I got him off the tree. Go ahead. Go ahead and put down there. Yeah. So there's a big tree right there that Corey clued me in on. <laughs> I'm going to fling him up here on the back of the boat. <laughs> you, you inspect him for a buzz bait in his mouth. <laughs> no, nah, yours was bigger for sure. I mean, this was this one's no small fish, but... I mean, it's going to be hard to put the top waters down, but... And there we go. Popper got it done. I got lucky. I just barely got mine out from around that log that broke him off. That's a healthy looking fish. Living up shallow. A bonus fish. Another one on the credit frog.
But if you want to check out these frogs, you can go to BamaFrogs.com. They're called Incredi Frogs. We also sell the hook and the 17-pound mono. So go check them out. I caught a lot of good bass today. Corey caught a lot of good snakes today. Leave a comment below. <laughs> have a new pet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A new pet moccasin. I say you were trying to help me out there. I was trying. Yeah. All right. I can just go ahead and tell you guys there will be no pet moccasin. But hope you all enjoyed the video. And we will see you all next time.